Pakai makanan yang di sore juga isi And today we will talk about the sum and difference of two cubes So let's start So the sum and difference of two cubes no? Punta na agad tayo sa formula factor of sum and difference of two cubes, no? Ipapa-factor natin siya. So, ito yung ating parang formula, no? Pwede nyo kapisaduin, at pwede rin namang pakinggan mo na lang ako para madaling mo siyang mag-factor. So, we have a two cubes here, no? So, first term, no? Cube siya, tsaka yung second term. So, ga ang isipin nyo lang yung word na so. S O A P, no? So, ibig sabihin, no? Kung titingnan natin yung kanyang mga uh, operations, no? So, yung factor niya, no? May kakaroon tayo dito ng dalawang parenthesis, no? So, x cubed plus y cubed, kung titingnan nyo yung operations niya, x plus y, s stands for same. Kaparehas ang kanyang operation. So, x plus, x cubed plus y cubed, same, plus din to. So, same ang s. Yung o naman, meaning opposite. No, so ang susunod dito na operation natin opposite kung plus to, no? Ito naman ay minus, no? And then AP meaning, no, always positive. So sa last term natin ay laging positive. Katulad din ito kapag difference naman, no? This is the sum, this is the difference. Sa so, difference naman kapag minus siya, no? So x y, no, ito ay same. Kaparehas, no? And then, ito naman is opposite. Opposite ng ito. Kung minus to, magiging plus. Kung plus to, magiging minus. And then, always positive. So, yan lang ang inyong tatandaan. So, ano ba yung mga cubes? No? So, ano ba yung perfect cubes? May tara, meron tayong tinatawag na perfect cubes. For example, no? So, these are the perfect cubes. So, 1 cube equals 1 times 1 times 1 equals 1. No? 2 cube is equivalent to 1 times 2 times 2 kwal sa 8. So, ganun lang. Hanggang 10. Yung 10 is 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. So, ganun yung perfect cubes. No? So, reverse process to. No? Reverse process to ng cube root. For example, we have a sabi nga natin, no? 3 cube equals to 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. So, reverse process yan ng cube root. No? Kapag kinubirot natin ng 27, ang sagot natin yan is 3. So, kabaliktaran siya. No? Hindi makabaliktaran. Reverse process siya. Okay. So, kailangan natin, no? Kailangan yung maging familiarize, no? Sa ating mga perfect cubes para naman malaman natin yung magpaktong ng sum and difference of two cubes. So, in getting the factors of the sum and difference of two cubes, we have two steps. Step 1, determining the first factor by extracting the cube root of each term. So that, that is a step one. And step number two, no, we will determine the second factor. No? Sa second factor, meron tayo A, B, and C. First is the square the first term. No? Square natin yung first term. And then B, getting the product of each of the first factor. And then third, is square the last term. So, yan nat yan natin makukuha yung first factor at saka second factor. So, magbigay tayo ng example. Example number one, no? So, x cubed plus 8. So, first, step number one, no? Get the cube root, no? Nung each term. So, ang x cube, kapag cube root natin yan, yan lang ay x, no? Parang mawawala itong mga cancel yan. So, that is the our x. And then, yung last term, no? So, cube root of 8, yan ay 2 times 2 times 2, parang ganun, di ba? So, yan ay 2 lang. No? So, cube root nyan, no? Pwede itong isulat as 2 cube, di ba? So, yan ay 2. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating x dyan is x and yung y natin is 2. So, Yeah, this is step number one. Sa step number two, meron tayo tatlo, A, B, and C. Ano? So, ang magiging first factor natin dito is X plus 2. Yan yung ating first factor. So, second factor natin, no? Meron tayong A, B, and C. Ang sabi daw, no? 
uh, square, the first term. So, square natin to. So, x squared. And then, the next is get the get the product, no? Ng terms. So, x times 2, no? So, yan ay 2x. So, x times 2 equals 2x. But, we will get the additive inverse, no? I forgot kanina, no? Additive inverse. Ibig sabihin, kung positive to gagawin natin, negative. So, yan ay meron tayong additive inverse natin is negative 2x. Parang scratch na lang to, no? So, yan ay negative 2x. And then, the letter C, no? We will get the square ng 2. So, 2 squared. So, 2 squared equals to 4. So, positive 4 plus 4. So, this is the second factor. Ang first factor natin ay x plus 2. So, kung titignan natin kanina, no, sa soap, no? So, x cubed plus 8, ito yung ating iba factor, no? So, plus, the same, s is same, no? Plus, plus, and then o, opposite, plus, ito ay minus, and then ap, always positive. So, meaning, ang factor ng x cubed plus 8 equals x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 4. So, let's go to example number 2. To example number 2. So, dito naman gagamitin natin yung ating formula, no? So, ang ating formula for the difference, ito, difference, kasi minus, no? Is x minus y, no? Sabi natin, cube, ito is x minus y cube, no? x cube minus y cube equals, no? Yung ating difference, so, ibig sabihin, the same, same, no? So, ito ay magiging x squared. That is uh, opposite. Kung minus, so ito ay magiging plus xy plus y squared. Yung ating, ito yung ating difference ng formula natin, no? So, ito gagamitin natin ngayon, no? Huwag tayo sa mga step steps. Okay. So, ito yung ating terms. So, 64 d cube, no? So, pag kinunibrot natin yan, yan ay meron na lang, no? 4D. Hindi yung 4D na lang siya kasi kinibrot ng 64 is 4 and then D, D, D cube is D na lang. So, ito yung ating X, no? And then, yung ating namang Y, ating Y, so, ang mangyari dyan is 1, 2, 5, no? So, cube root ng 125 is equivalent to 5. So, ito yung ating y. So, meron na tayong x, meron na tayong y. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, no, uh, ilalagay na natin siya dito sa parang ating formula. So, equivalent yan. So, yung ating x is 4d diba? Minus lagayin lang natin to y is 5 and then, x squared, i-square natin, no? Yung 4d, so yan ay 16. Kasi 4 squared is 16. That's d squared, no? I-square lang natin siya parang 4d squared. So, 16d. So, 4 squared and d squared. So, yun naman. Next naman is multiply natin, no? Plus, plus, x, y. Multiplication yan. Yung x natin is 4d and y, no? So, 4d and 5. So, yan ay 4d multiply sa 5. Yan ay merong 20d. So, plus 20d. And then, plus, plus y squared, no? Ang 5 squared natin. So, what is 5 squared? This is 25. So, meaning, ito yung ating final answer. No? So, 4D minus 5 times 16D squared plus 20D plus 25. So, let's go to example number 3. So, gamit tayo ng two steps. No? So, step number 1, cube root natin yung ano, magpapareha sa term. No? So, 125, 125, dito natin lagay. No? 125 A cube, pag root natin yan, yan ay 5A. No? And then, cube root din natin yung 1 over 64 d cube. Okay, matatakot ito pag fraction, no? So, cube root ng 1 is equivalent to 1. Over, yung 64, no? Cube root nyan is 4 
yung B, yung B. So, 5A, tsaka 1 over 4B. Ang ating first factor, no? First factor lalagay natin dito is 5A. Then, A plus, plus to, 1 over 4B. This is our first factor. So, second factor natin, no? Yung ABC natin, first, we will square the first term. So, 5A squared. So, ito yung ating parang scratch, no? So, 5A, no? Squared natin yan. So, yan ay 25A squared. So, ibig sabihin, the second factor is 25A squared, no? Yan. And then, ang um, next is, letter B is multiply. Imumultiply natin yan, yung 5A and 1 over 4B. So, 5A, then, 1 over 4B, equivalent yan sa, so, numerator, parang over 1 yan. So, 5A over 4B. Ganun lang, no? So, yan ay, so, dahil ito ay positive, additive inverse niya, no? Gagawin natin negative. So, minus, 5A over 4B. And then, letter C, no? I e square natin. So, pag square natin, dito lang natin lagay, no? Square natin yan. Uh, 1 over 4B squared. So, 1 squared is 1. Then, 4 squared is 16B squared. So, ito yung ating last term. So, yan ay always positive, no? Plus... 1 over 16b squared. So, ito yung ating first factor. Ito naman yung ating second factor. So, therefore, no, ang factor ng ating 125a cubed plus 1 over 64b cubed ay 5a plus 1 over 4b times 25a squared minus 5a over 4b plus 1 over 16b squared. So, that's all, no? So, magbibigay ako sa inyo ng tanong. No? Sana sagutin nyo. Ilagay nyo sa comment sa baba. Tapos sabihin ko kung tama ko mali. So, uh, thank you no? for uh, no, staying with me. And then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. No? And then, pakibigay, uh, pakibindot pa yung notification bell. No? Para naman updated kayo sa mga videos ko pa. So, that's all. No? Good luck, soldier.